Hey guys, so I finally got some time to put into wire management. So I'm gonna take care of all of this mess here and put it into the wire way in just a minute. So at this point, I am nearly done. A whole lot of work so far. <laughs> um, so I've got the cabinet and the DIY batteries in the on the bus bars here. Um, if I had to fill all 12 slots here, I would definitely be a little bit tighter and more managed with it. But there's, I still have plenty of lugs, so I'm a little crooked. I've got the the best way these t-class fuses worked is crooked which isn't gonna matter nobody's gonna see inside here besides me and you guys um uh, and yeah it all fit uh but yeah i i mean i figured with an eight by eight there'd be it would look like a football field inside empty but there's actually <laughs> it's there's a lot of stuff going in here if you put the bus bars and everything in the box so yeah there's actually if you did the bus bars outside of the box and did, you know, any kind of fusing outside, then it would probably be uh, a little less cramped, but I wanted everything to be in there. So the PV is still a little messy here. I've got a combiner box up here. Um, and I'm actually going to be moving that combiner box to put uh, a spot to test inverters right there. 
So I'm going to have a little test spot to test uh, inverters at some point. So I'm going to move that so I have extra PV here. I'm going to be stretching all that in that direction. And I'm going to put a disconnect back there. <clears throat> so in the mo at the moment, I don't have these in a conduit yet, uh, any of the PV wire. But that's about the messiest part of it. Uh, I went with the Nader breakers from Signature Solar. They kind of made it a little bit of a cleaner uh, set up here at the end. The uh, they're really cool little little cabinets um, when they stay closed, right? <laughs> no, there it goes. So I could have done uh, I, I used flex conduit because that's what I had originally, and I could have actually done some stretches here too. It really doesn't matter to me though. But you always pick at stuff later. And then I also thought I should have just done, but I was in that three-quarter uh, flex conduit kind of mode, so I didn't think about it. But I could have done an uh, inch and a half, just one here, and, and put everything into my disconnect from there. But instead, I ran two of them uh, because that's what I had before. So I guess that's kind of where that came from. But yeah, I'm nearly finished. All the AC wiring's done. I had to redo all of that from the input from the house. And then I had to redo all the outputs because it was different lengths over to the disconnect. Actually, from that point though, luckily I didn't have to do anything to my breaker box. But yeah, all new AC wiring to and from the inverters. Uh, basically everything DC side had to be redone. The PV had to re be redone. So a lot of work. Yep, nearly done. I'll, I'll show you guys a completed video here at the end. All right, guys, well, that about wraps it up. So it really cleaned things up nicely, really happy with it. Um, I've still got a lot of cleaning to do around here too. Got a lot of sweeping and a lot, I've got to get, get all my tools up. So what I would say is though, I've got a couple of key words of advice here. So uh, if you're gonna be doing one of these projects, consider getting a hole punch to punch all these holes. These step-down bits do work uh, as long as you're willing to wear long sleeves, gloves, glasses, uh, uh, ear protection. So there, it's really noisy and it shoots shavings all over you. It's, it's, uh, it's not fun. But this is actually the second one of these I've done. And uh, you know they do work. They're cheaper. So it's up to you guys. If, you, if you're willing to spend a little extra money, it's a whole lot easier uh, and cleaner to get those. You won't have to vacuum up all the shavings and everything. So then the second thing would be make sure to ground your wireway. I don't want anybody to forget that. You don't want this, if anything were to come in contact AC or DC with this, for this to become a conductor. So make sure you have this tied to ground, earth ground, and that will eliminate any issues with that. And the third thing would be if you're doing anything with these inverters, and I've mentioned it before, you're going to be doing any kind of operating on them, uh, taking the cover off anything. Make sure, you know, you can take the cover off, but just be cautious. Make sure uh, you let the capacitors bleed out if you're going to do any major operation on them. And that lasts for over 30 minutes. I've done more uh, removing and replacing of these units than probably anybody else. So I can tell you, I when I removed the MPP units, I think it was the last time I removed them, I actually had them on the table, uh, disconnected from everything, removed from the wall, and they would both still power on for about a second. So that just lets you guys know that there is potential danger there if something were to touch the wrong connector or uh, anything. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and that is an actual, that's a way in, in which you can bleed them off quicker. Once your AC power, your DC power, your PV power is all disconnected, you can actually power them on uh, for a second and it will bleed it off faster, but still uh, give them a little time. So I just wanted to mention that, make sure nobody uh, hurts themselves. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll be coming out with another one pretty soon.